Johnson. Hey, Johnson. What did she, she? Why is your body so hot? What's wrong with you? Eh? I'm not feeling fine. Hi. I'm having cold inside and my my head aches. Is your doctor wife aware of this? <laughs> he, she's aware. Yeah, she, she gave me an injection to hey. help with the pain or something. I could not go. Okay, okay, that's fine. Stand up. We have to run test eh? and you get treated. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Let's go to the hospital now. Because we go, stand up. Eh? Uncle is not feeling fine. Eh? Mimi? <laughs> Uncle is not feeling fine. Stand up. Stand up. Bye. Stand up now. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Stand up. Let's go. Can you manage the door? <laughs> Yeah, I need to call my wife. It's past her closing time. Maybe she's no longer in the hospital. If she's no longer there, we'll get someone else to treat you now. No, no. My wife is the only one that, that takes care of my health issues. What are you talking about? Your wife is a heart condition doctor specialist. There are other doctors there that, that, that takes care of general health issues. When we get there, if she's not there, someone else will look after you. Okay? You need to run tests. Look at your body. Sister... My wife used to be a general doctor before she specialized. Let me call her, please. Wow. Hi, honey. Where are you? We are coming to the hospital. No, no, no. I'm done for today. I just stopped by at Trisha Supermarket to get some things for the house. Okay, I'll be home soon. Okay, all right, no problem. Yeah. Love you. Okay, love you too. So we need to turn back. She's no longer in the hospital. She said she's heading home. We need to turn back. Yeah. I still. Please, turn back. Please. If you ask me, I'll say we should go to the hospital. I will check. So another doctor will check on you. No, my wife is already coming home. Just no problem. No problem. Let's go back. She will not stay one place. She will not stay one place. Eh? What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? Come. I don't have time for this nonsense. Let's go. to meet you at the hospital for a test and treatment but I had to call you first 
when I did, he told me, you have closed. So we had to turn back. <coughs> oh, honey. You should have called me before leaving the house. Or better still, wait for Why me. Why are you acting up? Eh, hey, Sonia? What's all this? Are you not aware that your husband is not feeling well? Eh? I'm very much aware of it. And I am top of the situation. I did tentative check on him and gave him an analgesic. This morning he told me he was having headache. So I took his blood sample with me for tests. So this test is taking the whole week? No, it's taking the whole day for it to come out. Vivian, I was at work. You were at work? So your work is now more important than my brother? What if you had walked in here and saw your bro my, my brother's dead body? What would you have done? God forbid. God forbid it, of course. God forbid I will not meet my husband's dead body. My husband knows I have his full attention and he can attest to it. Mm. Do you know your problem? You, you, you don't want to listen to advice. Because you feel you are a doctor, a doctor. You don't want to listen to anybody's advice. You feel you know everything. And right? your problem is that you like to shove in your advice where it is not needed. Mm. And I am thinking you need it more yourself. Go and fix your marriage before coming here to fix mine. Of course you need it. My brother, wait. You need it. Because if you had listened to me, you would have given my brother a child. You would have given my brother a child. Look at who is talking. Since you are very good at dishing out advice, why haven't you advised yourself and give your husband more than one child after six years of marriage? Oh, please. Two of you should stop this bickering. My, my, my head is banging now. <coughs> sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Uh, I, your test result is out and it says you have malaria. So you need to rest. Let me just serve your food. No, don't worry. I'm not hungry. Mimi, my darling. Mimi, my darling. Are you hungry? Oh, let's go, my darling. Let's go and eat jollof rice in the kitchen. Let's go. When you eat jollof rice, you eat jollof rice. I, I give you uh, uh, drink. You drink and you, you, you get filled up. Let's go to the kitchen. I eat jollof rice. I'm sex. I don't taste good though. I'm sex. I want to dish out advice. I'll take care of your husband. Ah, come on. Yeah. Number is switched off. This is the fourth time that I'm going. Let me keep trying. I called your number several, it was switched off. And how do you expect him to come and get you when you left with the car key? What if we were in trouble? Obed, what if we were in trouble? I just explained to you, I called your number several, it was switched off. Okay, fine. It was switched off. Even if you do not love me, or even love our daughter, can't you at least be appreciative of my efforts? My efforts of catering. Catering for this family. Yeah? Obed. Obed. Can't you at least appreciate me? It's fine. What did you cook? Um, nothing for now. I was waiting for you to of come Of course back. you were waiting for me as usual. To come and cook for you. Obed. You should be ashamed of yourself. You cannot provide ordinary 200 naira to buy noodles for yourself. Look at it now. 
Look at it, you are eating biscuits. As one takare, small picking. You are Mimi's friend. Look at yourself. I will go out there, toil, hustle, and come back. You will still want to, me to cook for you. Oh, but are you not wicked? Oh, but are you not selfish? Now, let me just tell you something. I am going upstairs to have my back, take care of Mimi, and I'm going to sleep. Go and fix yourself something to eat up waiting for me. Lazy man. Oh, yeah, let's go upstairs. Sorry, my dear. So I'm not supposed to shout at you. Your dad is always making me angry. Eh? I don't know what kind of man is this. Mommy, climb upstairs. Oh, climb upstairs. You see your daddy, I don't understand you. Eh? Yeah? I mean, him and this man. You will not want to keep me on bed. You want to pound me. Eh? What is all this? Are you angry? What says? Huh? Oh, I'm okay. If you see where you got her. Yes? Why does your sister derive so much pleasure in overlapping into my home as if I have no presence here? She was here. Why didn't you ask her? Rimi, I should have asked her. Fine. I will do just that the next time she comes here. But you know, I have a question to ask you. Why is it that you are always quiet whenever your sister comes to this house, disrespects me, and crosses the line? How did she cross the line? First, she's always reminding me that I do not have a child yet. Secondly, is it proper for me to be in this house and your sister will go into my kitchen, open my pot and take food without my permission? Sonia. Sonia, at my age and exposure, I don't worry about everything. I only complain about certain things. Things that are extremely important. If you start finding fault with everything around you, you cannot live with anybody. So what is wrong with you? You are where my sister is the one we are talking about here. My elder sister. Are you aware? that my elder sister is also your husband. So what happens when you see me in the kitchen taking food? You'll get angry. You'll flare up. Baby, you know her husband is out of business and out of job for some time. So what is wrong in her coming to her brother's house, going to her brother's kitchen and taking food to eat? What? So that is how you choose to interpret what I just said. I'm sorry for making a mountain out of nothing. Would you come back and sleep? Tolerating too much. Eh? Look at one bash here. Look at Sonia. Sonia, that used to be my former friend, that practically begged me. She was begging me to introduce her to my younger brother, Johnson, so that Johnson can marry her. And Johnson met her, fell in love with her, and married her. Now, Sonia wants to reach shoulders with me. Sonia is insulting me. Hey, Atalama, I have suffered. That is not even the problem. That one is even small. Are we sure she's capable of giving my brother his child? Because he's our only son. 
and we need a child. Hi. I've got one chance. But it's okay. Something must be done. Something must be done ASAP. As soon as possible. Huh? It's okay. No, no, it's fine. I must see to it. It's okay. That good. Eh? What is it? What is it? Look, relax now. See, for more than six months, she've not allowed me cross. Eh? If I don't want to go, we go to one of four, just give me this night. Now, who can me deliver? Not like the cast. Not the cross. Why are, why, Una, Jerugudu, why are men wicked? Eh? Oh, Betty, I will go out there. Toil, hustle, suffer, just to cover your shame, just to put food in this family. And what do I get? You want to pound, you want to pound on me. You want to suffer me. Can't you just pity for your lovely wife? The wife God gave you, pure hand. Am I not right? Vivian, must you rub this thing on my face all the time that you feed me and pay the house rent? Must you rub it on my face all the time? Am I not trying as a man? Don't I? I practically do all the whole house chores just to make you happy. From going to the market to cooking, cooking in this house. I mop the house, I do the cooking, I wash our clothes, your clothes, your undies, everything. Don't I do them? I bring Mimi back from school, I do her homework, I feed her, I make sure she sleeps. What don't I do for you? Am I not trying as well? I'm not complaining. No. You are complaining too much. Hey. So you're saying I'm nagging? Oh, so I am nagging. I will go as I, I will toy, I will, I will suffer so that people will not see you as, as a failure. I will want to cover your shame. You will go and you will tell me that I am nagging. It's okay. I am nagging. Let me be nagging, no. Let me be nagging. This is what God, 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 God. This is what they will pay me with. This is how they will repay me so bad. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, I'm nagging. Oh, mm. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Chukubo, I'm nagging. I'm nagging, I'm nagging. Oh, bad, I'm nagging. You're saying I, I, I'm nagging. I'm nagging, I'm nagging. I'm nagging, I'm nagging. I'm nagging, I'm nagging. I'm nagging. I'm nagging. I'm nagging. She's so proud, arrogant. She's so full of herself. She does whatever she wants and doesn't mind if it hurts you or not. She's brutal, selfish. She's a woman of trouble. She gets whatever she wants and doesn't mind if it hurts you or not. She's so proud. What happened? Is there any problem? There is a problem. Hello. What is the problem? Is Mimi alright? I woke up since 5 a.m. I have been preparing for work. You are here, sleeping. 5 a.m. since oh. 5 a.m. Is that why she woke me up as if the house is on fire? You must the house be on fire before I wake you up. Must the house be on fire before you help me? What is this? Oh, what do you want me to have you do? Do, do I... Do you want to take you to the bedroom, bath you, and prepare you for work? And so, weren't you doing all that if, when we got married, married newly? Eh? What is all this now? See, listen, listen, listen. I don't want someone to say that I'm nagging, no. Please, I don't want anybody to tell me that I'm, I'm nagging. Just go and boil water for me, let me take my bath. Oh, what is it? I will go in the morning, suffer, suffering, suffering, suffering. I'll come back and feed you. You'll be here lazing around. Just go and boil water for me, let me take my bath. Have I ever said you nag? Did I say so? Yes, you have said that countless times. In fact, last night you said it, and I, 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 I cried to sleep. Vivian, I never said you nag. When was the time I said so? I never said so. You said so last night, 
I even cried to sleep because of what you said. You said I nagged too much. Okay, listen carefully, Vivian. Because I know if I don't address this issue now for the next one month, you'll keep saying this. Listen, I never said you nag. What I said is that you are complaining too much. This is just semantics. It's the same thing. Anyway, I'm not here to speak English. Please, go in there, boil water for me, I want to paint. Ah, I will not go outside, suffer, I will suffer, I'll toil everything. I will not come back, you will feed on me, I will feed you. What is all this? You have to do something, instead of lazing around. You want to, come and sleep now, let me see you, come and sleep. Just come and sleep, let me see you. You know, when you women want to create trouble, you begin to call all the in with God in heaven, God in heaven. Eh? You just trying to create unnecessary trouble. Go and buy water for me. You need to wash my car too. You need to wash my car. When you were before we got married, you used to be very caring, but I knew. I, I knew all those affections you were showing me were fake. I should do what? You will go and wash my car. Wash your car. Yes. Come on, Vivian. I think your your your, your office driver does that for you. I pay them. So if you do if you do it for me, won't that relieve me of my suffering? Won't that relieve me of my suffering? Obed, you will go and wash my car. If you don't wash my car, you will not sleep here. Before you even wash my car, you boil water for me to take my bath, and then you go and wash my car. What is all this? You will not be. Ah, that one will not happen. You go and wash my car. No, wash my car. No, wash my car. No. No. What? 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 Let me wash my bath. What is this now? Vivian, no, go and boil water. Let me have my bath. No. Why boil water? Let me have my bath. No, no, water. Let me have my bath. No, water. Let me have my bath. I have washed them as much as I can wash them. Ah, you have washed them as much as you can wash them. That means those small boys at the car wash do a better job than you. Huh? Boys then make use of chemicals to wash their tires. I, I advise you to take it to them, but you refuse. And you? Who, will, who will pay them? Who will pay them? Since you've been jobless for two years, how much have you contributed in this house? How much have you earned? Huh? Good for nothing. With your coconut head. What? But go out from there. Nonsense. Carry this water. Carry it. Sorry. Uh, what about Mimi? Are you not taking her to school? Like an Are you not the one that beats her? You beat her, you feed her, take her to school. Uh, just like I should just blow you now. Her school is along the road to your place of work. You can just pick her up and drop on your way to, 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 to your place of work. Ha! Will you not go open the gate and you expect me to open the gate for you? I will feed you. I will, I will clothe you. I will pay the house rent. I, I, I will still feed you in the bedroom. What is it? You want to kill me? Will you go open that gate? I will, I will feed you in the house. I will feed you in the bedroom. She's so proud, arrogant, she's so full of herself. She does whatever she wants and doesn't mind if it hurts you or not. She's brutal, selfish, she's a woman of trouble. She gets whatever she wants and doesn't mind if it hurts you or not. She's so proud, arrogant. She's so full of herself She does whatever she wants and doesn't mind If it hurts you or not She's brutal, selfish She's a woman of trouble She gets whatever she wants and doesn't mind If it hurts you or not
Patricia, yeah. good morning. I want to give you this. Yes. What is your wife with you? And she has an early morning uh, business meeting to catch up with. So she left with the car key. So I have to take Mimi to school. Yeah. Well, just come and let me drop you guys. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, baby. Thank you, Auntie. Obed cannot pay him. I cannot pay him. So instead of wasting that money, Obed has become the gate man. Excuse me? What is excuse me? Were you, you were the one that said I should look for a job for him. Yes, I said so, but I didn't ask you to make him a gate man. That's disrespectful. That's not nice. Yeah. Yeah. See me, as I come this step, I look also. You understand me? Everybody has to contribute one way or the other in this house. He cannot keep lazing up and down. If it doesn't work, he will not chop. No pocket money, no food, no sex. Excuse so he has to contribute something. Excuse me? Vivian, that's been so wicked of you. Why? Listen, your husband was a well-to-do man. But because he had issues does not mean you should disrespect him. Do you understand what I'm saying? You didn't pick that man from the gutters. He is he, man. Please, stop doing that. Well, darling, I have to keep him busy so that he will get tired. If not, he will pounce on me. He will pound me at night. Pound you how? Uh, why are you talking like this? He will turn me left, right, center, forward. He will do everything <laughs> on, on, my, on my body. Please be seated. Don't even talk. What should I say? He is a man. I believe it's my husband. He's always traveling up and down. He wants to make me feel like he, I don't get that touch. So why could you perfect your duties? My sister, I am doing my wife's duties. Well, you say that now. Is he in that aspect? Oh, no, no. I'm telling you, he's a machine. He's supernatural in that angle. That particular angle, he's very, very good at it. In fact, I should give him a trophy, an award. Eh, let us go inside. Hmm? Let's go inside. Is it not Odogu? Odogu, the machine. Let us go oh. inside. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah. Wow. Yeah. I think I need this to see my Please come to the dining. Okay. 
here. Please come sit down. Mm. Thanks, baby. Trisha, you're looking so good, though. I know. But oh, wait, wait. So you were serious about your husband? Of course. Wow. Uh, are you ready? Hey, I didn't know you were here. Yes, I am. <laughs> I can see that you're in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm, I can't wait to test your meal. Be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Why is this cup dirty? Honey, I... I washed it right now before bringing it out here. Go and rinse it. Now. Run along already! Why are you standing there moping at me? I'm sorry. Yummy. This mm. is so, so sweet, like, mm -hmm. delicious. <laughs> Honestly. You know my mm. husband, that one, he cannot boil water to save his life. Mm? I'm telling you. This is so sweet, like, delicious. To be right. honest, my husband is a good cook. But I don't want you saying it in his presence so that his head will not swell. I like to complain about things so that he can get on his toes. Put him in check. Mm. You know now. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. He's going to serve mine specially. Mm. Yes, he is. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. So nice. Some chess. And you know one thing? Your wife could not have done better. I will take that as a compliment. Thanks for this mm. Yeah. <laughs> for a handsome man like you, who is also a very good cook. That is so sweet. And you are so good with cooking. Do you know what I think? I think such a man will be so good in bed. <laughs> you're playing a dangerous game. You're, you're, your friend could just walk into the kitchen now. I love them dangerous. I love the Jones games. For my friend, she's upstairs in the toilet. And you know one thing? I've got your number. Expect my call anytime. Yes, I am, my love. I need to get to my supermarket and see what they're doing over there. I know. This is weekend. I know. And of course, we could see tomorrow, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And that reminds me, we could go for Miriam's baby dedication. 
Later today. That's fine with me, but I didn't know you were going though. Of course I am. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so where's your husband? I need to say thank you for the sumptuous meal. Why would you want to say that? You want his head to swell. Oh bad! Oh bad! Yes, I'm coming. Shut up. You're so stuck. Get out. Patricia? Yes, I am um, leaving now. Okay. Thank you for the sumptuous meal. I enjoyed it. And of course, I am leaving already. So. You're welcome, and I'm glad you did. Mm. All right. Babes, let's go, Joe. What do you mean by you? You're glad she enjoys it. Huh? Did you provide for the food? Were you the one that made sure the food was served? Huh? I say, nah, nah. Hey, yeah, yeah, good da. I'm glad you did. Look at your mouth. Clean your mouth. Babes, let's go. Let me see you off, my darling. Oh, babe, see you some other time. All right, take care. Yeah. Vivian, let's go. She's so proud, arrogant. She's so full of herself. She does whatever she wants and doesn't mind if it hurts you or not. She's brutal, selfish. Mm. This one you are fully dressed. I'm going to see my parents in the evening, not now. Ah, yes, I know. Um, I'm actually going for a wedding. A wedding? Yeah. Whose wedding? Yeah, I don't even know whose wedding to. You know, the thing is, my sister called me and she said I should accompany her to the wedding. Your sister called. Okay. Fine. Didn't you tell her you were meant to go with me to my parents' place? It's their 40th wedding anniversary. I'm even cooking part of the food for their party. Baby, baby you're right. You know, I... I told her. She insisted I go with her. And what did you tell her? <sighs> Baby, what, what do you want me to tell her? She you know Vivian now. She's my elder sister and she loves to have things her way. Jay, if your sister wants company, why not get her husband to accompany her? But no! She would rather have him do all the house chores than she would come here to control you! Look, this whole thing is pissing me off. It is. Is she not married for Christ's sake? Please, calm down. Eh? Uh, see, th try and understand. Eh? Try and understand. Okay, okay. We'll go there later. Uh, we are supposed to go there in the evening, right? We'll go there later, okay? Okay, let me, see, let me tell, you, tell you what. Hmm? You can go ahead. Yes, go there. I will come and join you there. Eh? Huh? Phone is ringing. Vivian. Yeah, where are you now? I'm at your gate. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm almost done. I'm, I'm about walking out of the house. It's okay, it's okay. Since I'm already here, we'll just use my car. Oh. Okay. Okay, you, you'll see me now. Alright, hurry up, okay? Bye. Sonia, baby, baby, try and understand, um, baby. Why is your face like this? Sister, you know today is my in-law's wedding anniversary and I'm supposed to be there. Sonia is not happy because I'm not going with her. Anyway, <laughs> I told her I would join her later. Wait, hold on, hold on. Put side by side. You would rather choose Sonia over me, your sister? Hold up. Have you forgotten Solson who 
trained you in school and who also set you up in business? Have you? Sister C, I'm not ungrateful. But you should understand that I'm a married man. I need to be there for my wife. Yeah, you're a married man. This wife you so clamber about, who married her for you? No, 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 let's talk. I want to ask him. No, tell me. Is this how you want to repay me? I can never turn my back on you. And you know that. Please stop acting up. Stop. And you also expect me to drive the car? Idiots. No, you expect your big sister to drive the car. You're joking. Please drive this car, let's leave here. You're choosing your sister, your, your, your wife over me. You're not, you're, you're, you're mad. I just finished speaking with her. Oh. I came to see you. You came to see me? What is wrong with you? Look at you. Vivian has turned you into a woman. Not just a woman, but a jelly. Listen, my love. I, it pains me. That is why I'm here to help you. Thank you so much. But I must correct an impression. My wife may talk to me the way she likes. I'll keep news and ignore her now because I'm a weakling. Because of my financial situation. So, see, this is what I mean. I am so handsome. And she. She was lovable. And most importantly, you were a wonderful cook. And then, from what my friend tells me, it was so good on bed. <sighs> Sorry. Uh... Hey, I want to see that this man shot. So the things I love, admire, and want in my life. <laughs> Trisha, thanks for your compliment. But I do not understand you. My wife is supposed to be your friend. Your best friend for the Shh. Now let's let's face the truth. If you were to be my brother, I would not stand and watch Vivian treat you like this. I would not take it. That is why I'm here to help you. Hey darling. I want to upgrade you financially. I want to give you everything and anything you need. I, I will give you connections and make you so okay again. Just, just make me feel like a woman, a, a accomplished woman. Light up the fire with me. Let it burn for you. Stop, Trisha. Please. I, I know you will come out.
Oh. Honey. You were sleeping? Yes. I'm so tired. I didn't even know when I fell asleep. <sighs> so, tell me about the anniversary. How did it go? I mean, it went on. Ask Google. Just, 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 just keep it to yourself. Keep that apology to yourself. I don't need this apology of yours. Honey. Honey, I'm sorry. Baby. Don't you know it's late? It's dangerous outside. Sorry. I practically ran out. Immediately you called, though. Ah, where's your car? It's inside my nose. I, I, after I dropped uh, Johnson at home, when I was coming back, my, my car developed problem. If you see the traffic I caused on the road because of my car that, 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 that developed problem, it was some people that just helped me to push the car one side. See, take. Take. Go and repair the car. Repair the car. Bring it back home right now, right now. I don't want to look for that car. I don't want to look for it. Take. By this time of the day, where will I get a mechanic Can to fix the car? Can you just take this thing? It's by that SK uh, E3 on the other side of the road. When you get there, ask the gates man where I parked the car. I instructed him that you're coming there to pick the car. So go and bring my car right now. And don't waste my time. In fact, come and start going. Let me lock the gates. Can I, can I have transport money? Take the money now. Take. This will not be enough. Thank you. I know you will say it will not be enough. Go up, let me lock the gate. Please, I need to talk to you. <sighs> Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, I was wrong. <sighs> Baby, you were right. But I need you to understand that it wasn't premeditated. The problem was, was that I didn't go with my car. Had it been I'm, I'm, I was there with my car, I, I would have returned earlier. Why didn't you call me? That's the right of information. Because I was waiting for you. You know, one day you would have to make a choice between your sister and I, who to live with. Baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I am at the gate. Please come and open the gate for me. Okay, I'm coming.
I've been asking you what the problem is. You have refused to say. I will go upstairs. I hope nothing happened to my car. Uh, no, no, nothing happened. Please, obey. Something is telling me that something has happened to my car. You better start talking. Well, I just answered you. Nothing happened to your car. So what is the problem? On it. <clears throat> My mom, I, I got a call from the village. They say she's sick and she needs medical attention. <sighs> I was wondering if there was something wrong with my car. She's not dead, but she's just sick. So, there's no problem now. Honey, she needs... She needs money. She... Please. Please. I am doing too much already in this house. I just renewed this rent. I just paid for my daughter's school fees. I am doing a lot. I'm buying food stuff in the house. I'm doing everything. Can't you pity for me? Do you want to suck me dry? Eh? You will still pound me upstairs. Am I not trying? You know I have spent a lot lately. What do you want from me? Should I kill myself for you? Honey, oh, yeah, no. I, I know you spent so much, but it's my mother's health you are talking about. Please, yeah, please, 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 please. I don't want to talk too much. I beg. Honey, no, 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 honey, please. Honey, please. I, I beg you, please. I, t -t -t don't go, please. It's my mother. Please, just. You're my last hope. Be good, be good. Please, don't, please don't, Maka, honey, please, do this. Oh, it's me, your husband, honey. Can you, honey, please. Now, honey, please. Uh -uh. Honey? What is this? Please, 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 What's this now? And why are you stressing me? No, I'm trying in this house. I'm really, really trying. Yeah. Sorry to disturb you. I, I, I need your help. Please. Um, my mother is sick. Uh, please, I, I want to know if you can help me with a uh, with little amount of money so I can send her to the village so I can come over to Lagos for, for medical attention. How much do you want? Uh, about 15,000 naira. Send your account number. I will send you 25,000 immediately. Uh, oh, God bless you, Trisha. May God embarrass you with blessings. Trisha, you will, you will never lack. God will continue to bless you. God will continue to fill your pocket. Day in, day out, people will continue to fail for you, Trisha. You will never lack. It's nothing. Listen, Obed. God has already given me enough. It is you that I want now. Do you now see what I was telling you? I can be of help to you anytime if you make me happy. <laughs> Take care of your mother first. Our health is more important. Thank you. I appreciate it. God bless you.
Oh, you're welcome. No. Yeah. Ah, this is my house. Ah. Ah. You killed me. Your house is fine. Thank you, Mama. I thank God for you. Thank you. Bedding one. Mama. How could you have forgotten me all this while? Where did you got this heart? KB Singwetesu Dubia. Eh? Is it not up to four years since you came home last? It's your phone, Negi. He that you him. You never care to call. Each time you are called, you will say, Mama, I will call back home. But you never do. What is wrong? Where have I offended you? Are you not my only son? Your sister is still struggling with her life and lives with your auntie and the not. Is this how you behave? Is it fair? Mama, I know it's not fair. I am sorry if, if I've offended you. At this point, I am so so, so ashamed of myself. Mama, the, the truth of the matter is that I was involved in a business transaction and I lost all my money in that transaction. Everything I have worked for, I lost it in that transaction. As it is, at this moment, my wife is the one surviving me. She's the one that feeds me, clothes me, pay this house rent. My wife is here. welcome. Oh, my daughter. You are welcome, oh, um, well. No. Um, honey, my... My mom. I, I want I, to I... see you now. You to your room so you you should rest and I'll make arrangements for your for your for your medical care, okay? Uh, yeah. 
Hey, please, hey, where is that my room? Is it upstairs or downstairs? Your room is uh, downstairs, by the corner. Okay, yeah. okay. It's okay. Okay, let's go. What's the problem? What is it? I'm fine. No. I'm okay. There's nothing Musa will not see at the gate, my sister. Can you imagine? Me getting into my house only for me to see one old smelling, smelling uh, 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 woman in my house. To, to, only for her to, 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 to tell me that she's Obed's mother. So obviously you have a visitor, right? What visitor? How could Obed bring someone into my house after suffering to pay for the rent? He will bring someone into the house. Okay, he will not expect me to feed her, feed him, feed him on bed, feed my daughter, pay my daughter's school fees, and also, I am very sure he's going to ask me for hospital bills. Hey, darling, calm down. Calm down, okay, fine. He did not do well by not telling you. That's wrong, okay? But even as that, she's your mother-in-law, and I know you told me that woman loves you so much, so just calm down now, okay? My dear, which one is take care of your mother-in-law? Eh? What if that sickness in uh, uh, infects my daughter and I? How will I explain this? Ah, hey, darling, don't say that. That is not fair. You are being very No, no, no. That, that, that woman is a human being like you. You said you go old one day. Old. That's what you're talking about. You don't make sense. What do you mean? I, I, I know you told me that your husband took care of your mother when she was sick. So stop saying that. It's not fair at all. It's not. I beg, forget that one. I beg. Forget that. that, that that's not even my problem. Now, the, the, the thing that should now start asking me is, what am I giving birth another child for, 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 for his son? I beg, I don't, need, I don't need that kind of stress in my life. I don't need it at all. I don't need it. These people are just getting me pissed off. What nonsense. My darling, Jared, take care of yourself. We'll talk to, I'll talk to you later. Let me just cool down. I, I just... Just want to cool down, cool off. That was why I said I should call you. We'll talk later. What nonsense, eh? Will I run away from these people? Someone will not just drink water and drop cup in that house. Nonsense. Vivian, <laughs> take things easy. I thought you usually leave your lab coat in the office. Yes, I do, but I just meet this one and the tailor brought it for me. Really? Yes. So, tell me, when is your duty ending? Well, I'm just doing the night shift for today. Hopefully, I'll be back in the morning. I just pray there won't be an emergency. I pray too. <laughs> you said you're hungry. Why can't you get something to eat? Honey, I'm too lazy to enter the kitchen. Probably when I get to the hospital, I'll get something to eat. Suit yourself. <laughs> uh, excuse me. 
Hello, Sonia. Hello, Bed. How are you and your husband? We're fine. Um, are you at home or you've gone out? Um, just sleep. I'm just about to leave for work. Okay. At least I, I, I need a favor from you. I'm calling to know if, um, as a matter of fact, my mom was brought in from the village very sick. So I am calling to know if um, she can pass by and um, see her before going to work. Oh, okay. Um, tell you what, I would stop by the house to see her. Yes, I'll check on her. Then I'll determine if she needs to go to the hospital or not. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. All right, bye. Hope there is no problem. Not really. It's just Obed's mother. She's sick, so I need to check on her. Okay, yeah. that means I will be driving behind you because I need to see my sister too. Okay. okay. See, anytime you're on night shift, this whole house is so boring. I know, honey, and I'm sorry. I'm so right. sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Sure. Ladies first. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In the guest room. Okay. Yeah. Where is my sister? In her room. Okay. Yeah. Five minutes. All right. Let me. Go and meet your wife. Oh. Go and meet your wife. Uh, well, come on, push me. Come and push you. Come no, cross this place first. I will comb your beard. Oh, come now. Come back. Come on. Go and meet your wife. <laughs> I'm meeting you. <laughs> it's just you are just you are getting me angry. Just go now. How many heads? Now, nah, I'll be cool. Come and meet me here. You just say good. Sister, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hello? Obed? Hi, um, how is your mom? How is she feeling today? Um, Sona came around to check out to know what is wrong with her. So they're in the room right now. Okay, good. Your wife called me and was complaining to me how you brought your mother to the house without her consent. And then I told her off. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you. <laughs> that your wife, eh? I can't deal. I'm sure by now you are used to our stupidity anyways, but it's fine. I'll send you 30k in case you want to buy your mom anything, you know, fruit or something. <laughs> Thank you so much, Trisha. I really appreciate this. God bless you. Ah, oh, okay. Gratitude. Huh? I will see how much you appreciate me when we meet. You will show me how graceful you are. Um, anyway, I just thought to check up on you and your mom to know how she's doing. 
I will talk to you some other time. Take care. And please take good care of her. Bye. Take care too. Oh. No. How is she? She's getting better. Okay. It's nothing too serious. Okay. She has cold. She must have exposed herself too much. Okay. Aside that, I guess she worries a lot. So all you uh, need to do is ensure that she gets enough rest. Okay. Have a bath with warm water. Okay. Drink warm tea or warm water. Okay. Um, I'm on night duty today, so when I'm coming back in the morning, I'll get her some drugs. <laughs> so then, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. There is no need for you to thank me. <laughs> we are family. So. Okay. <laughs> but Albert, did you prepare anything? No, I really enjoy your food. Oh yeah, I cooked a jollof rice. You can go to the kitchen you and eat the quantity you want for yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. and the person that prepared the food gave me permission. Obed! Obed! Obed, big man! Are you the one that provided the money to cook this food? Why would you tell her to get into my kitchen to take food that you did not tell me? Why didn't you wake me up even if I'm sleeping? Eh? Was it not my money? How would you disrespect me this way? Okay, fine. Must you raise your voice and announce it to the whole world that they gave me money to prepare the food? You the soonest part of us after us is your brother's wife. Yes, so what? What an insult! This is an insult! Which brother's wife? Are you okay? Will you go and return that food? Auntie, nobody gave you the right to get into my kitchen and take food. Eh? Johnson, have you suddenly lost your tongue? Hmm. Was it not last week your sister came into our house, walked into my kitchen, dished out food for herself, and what did you tell me? Or you won't tell her the same thing, right? You sit here and watch your sister insult me because of food. No problem. Drop it! It's my money. It is my money, and I will tell you if you take this food or not. Onela! Onela! Sister, but my wife didn't insult you. I mean, she took permission from your husband. Of going to the kitchen. Will you clean your mouth? Close your mouth. Oh, okay now. Nah. Your wife has given you wing. You want to fly. You want to show yourself. You have forgotten that I'm your elder sister. You want to talk, you want to insult me because your wife has given has winched you. I still maintain my wife has done nothing wrong. Come on, sister. There is nothing wrong with my wife coming to your house, mm. going to your kitchen and taking food. Just like there is nothing wrong with you coming to my house to take food. Mm. Okay. You want, to you want to beat me? You want to beat me now? Beat me! You want to beat your elder sister? You are, you are, talk, you are talking back at me. You see what your witch of a wife has done to you? You now insult me. This is embarrassing. I know. I'm so sorry that I couldn't stay. I couldn't stay. It's, I'm leaving. Oh, you are walking out on me. Oh, it has gotten to the point now that you now walk out on me. Your elder sister. Yeah? Baby nurse! Baby nurse! You are walking out on me, Mr. Wadiro. Okwa, Obed, I'm going to go. I'm going to Obed, you are the cause of all those problems. You are the cause of all those problems. If you had respected me, this whole nonsense would not happen. Now look at that. That's a baby nurse. Baby nurse insulting me. Because of you. Because of you. Coconut head. Coconut head. No, keep walking. Keep walking. No, don't go and make money. Keep walking. No sense, people. Oh, now, now I'm just. Hey, Jimmy, I'm getting more. Hey. 
Mama, yes, did you see the money I sent to your account? I was even about to call you. What is it for? Yes, um, I want you to come to Lagos tomorrow morning. Really? I hope all is well. Mama, all is not well. Your only son has been married for three years. And the wife, Sonia, has refused to give him a child. And you think all is well, Mama? Something must be done. You have to come to Lagos so that we can address this thing peacefully. Mm. If I tell you that I am not bothered, I am a liar. Was it not yesterday that I was discussing it with Johnson on the phone? The funny thing is that the wife is a doctor. Anyway, I'm coming to Lagos so that we can find solution to this issue. Medical doctor Mumbo. Medical doctor that cannot help herself. Doctor Ndimbo. Doctor my leg, my foot. Mama, please just come to Lagos tomorrow. Let, 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 let's know what to do about this whole thing. We have to solve it immediately. Yes, Mama. You know this is our only brother. Your only son. Biko. Okay, Mama. Don't worry yourself. All right. Um, honey. I want to make use of um, tissue. I, I discovered that uh, we, we, we don't have tissue anymore. So I was thinking if, um, I don't know if you have some or if you can give me one to buy one or two for for for. for. Be -be 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 -be. Hey, what did I just hear? Obedi! Hey! Chinek. You cannot buy tissue. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself asking your wife money to buy tissue. That's the height of it. That is the height of it. Honey, you know now, when I had money, when I was bed was all bad, you know why I, I buy this. Shut up your mouth! Clean your mouth! When you had money, I get them before no be property. You get them before, like in echo. In echo. You don't have it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Asking your wife for how much is tissue. Look at you. Look at how you've reduced yourself. Now you have it before you. Tissue 15 naira. I, I am, I am, I am so ashamed of you. I am so ashamed of you. What nonsense. Tissue 15 naira you don't have. Because bro, no, I'm not going to you. Nonsense. Rubbish! doing here? It's almost 10 p.m. You ought to be sleeping by now, Mama. My son, come and sit down. What is well, Mama? I couldn't sleep. Where can we sleep? I needed to talk to you before going to bed. My son, 
It is not as if I was so sick that I couldn't manage myself in the village. But I was so worried about you. I knew something is wrong that made you not to come home for these past four years. And after seeing you, my fears were confirmed. Mama, you, you see, um, after I lost that money in that business transaction, I couldn't summon the courage to start all over again. The shame and the burden taught so much on me. Coupled with the fact that I pay a huge amount of money as a rent in this apartment. Of the truth, I do not even know where to start from. I can become so discouraged to pick up again. Hmm. Obey the mom. Mama. Can you listen to me? A man's place is not in the kitchen. I know you children of this day uh, 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 do things in the name of sharing home responsibilities. But please, stop staying at home. Go out there and meet people. Hang out with friends. By doing that, you will get valuable information you couldn't have gotten if you had stayed in the house. When you go out there, eat whatever you see. Come back in the night. Take your bath and go to sleep. By doing that, you will get back your wife's respect. This is my advice for you. Stop staying in the house. Stop living as if you, there's no more future for you. Stop living as if you are condemned. Please, woman. You are too young to condemn yourself. You are too condemn yourself. Come and kneel down here, let me pray for you. Give me your hand. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty Father, I thank you and I bless your holy name for the life of your dear son. Thank you for preserving his life till this day, O oh God. I appreciate you. Thanks, Papa. Father, I pray that you show mercy unto your son. Father, this is a child you made a light, but that light is not shining. I bring him before you for you to rekindle that light. You made him a head, not a tail. And that head he will always be. Father, please. Any sin he has committed that brought about his downfall, I pray that you show him mercy. Let your precious blood wipe away every wrongs in his life. Let there be mercy again. I pray and I believe that you heard me. Because you never look down on the prayers of widows and the fatherless. Papa, please, show him mercy and your, glory, and your name shall be glorified forever and ever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please, go and sleep. Go. Thank you. You have to sleep as well. Let's go, baby. Where are 
are you going dressed like that? I'm going out. You're going out? Going out to where? To see a friend, that's much I can say. To see a friend? Without telling me? Huh? You're going out without telling me? But let me ask you, since when did this start? When? This is always the first time. This is the first time? Okay, very good. Interesting. So how come you did not wash my pants, my undies in the bathroom? Hmm? Oh, you have grown wings. You have grown wings. And why are you like this? You're going out. You didn't even boil water for me to take to have my bath. Is that fair? Is that fair? Is this how we're going to keep living? Huh? Open! My children. Oh, my good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, Mama, good morning. Good morning. How is my little granddaughter? She's Me? fine. How are you this morning? Good. Uh, I, I, I overheard your people's voice from the inside. I hope all is well. Huh? Uh, Mama, there's no problem. All is well. I made your food and served at the dining, so... When you're ready, you go to the dining and eat. And please don't forget to take your drugs. It's I'm going out with Mimi. I'll come back in the afternoon. It's okay, ma'am. Okay. Excuse me. You see this picture you are trying to paint? It will not work for you. You are trying to show Mama a different picture. But I'm going to play you this tape now. I am going to tell Mama everything. You need to tell Mama that you are, you are, you are jobless. So this is how you are pretending. You are pretending. No, you are pretending. So that Mama will see you as a good person. You want to clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Mama, in case he did not tell you well, let me kowash it. Let me explain it to you. You see your son? He has been jobless for two years. And in those two years, I have been feeding him, clothing him, giving him pocket money. Paying my daughter's school fees. Did I even mention paying the rent for this house? Mother, it's not like I'm complaining. I'm not. But all I am asking him is to do the chores. Yes, sir, pants. And we'll let him wash my pants. That is all. Is that too much to ask, Mama? Is that too much to ask? Since he doesn't have anything he's doing. Let him do something. Let him make himself use and useful. He should be useful. He's not lazy around. It's okay, I feed you. Please, I, I, I relax. <clears throat> you see, my daughter, let me tell you the truth. Man will always be a man. Mm. It is a very big mistake to write off any man, no matter his condition. <clears throat> a woman who is opportuned or in a position to provide for her family, covers her husband's nakedness and handcuff. Such is a virtuous woman. No man ever forgets her. In fact, love, peace, and understanding never elude from that marriage. Uh, Mama, it's not like I'm complaining. He should don't, just do the needful. Don't worry. My daughter, when a woman provides and denies her husband respect, sex, and peace, that woman is leaving an indelible mark in the heart of that man. Mm. He will always carry it. He never forgets. So, um, as you provide, provide with total respect for your husband. Do it with total respect so that there will be peace in your home. And when there is peace, you will be able to relax your body mm. and give us another child. Well, yes, Mimi is already three years. I need more children. You need them. I need grandchildren. So, mom, I didn't say you're not trying. You're doing your best. But please, 
I want you to be patient. Mm. Things will be fine. I am very, very sure. Because I know the God I'm serving. He never looked down on his children. It's a question of time. Relax. Relax. You know? I have heard you. But he will wash my pants. Mm. Why are you restless? Oh, I'm fine. No, you seem uncomfortable in my house. Hey, listen. My kids are not around. They're in school. And my girls, of course, they're all in my shop. And my husband, yeah, he's always traveling. He's never around. So it's just me and you in my house. Okay, I... So please be comfortable. I... I want to thank you for all your financial assistance towards me. Uh, of a truth, I like you. Sure, I do like you. But you see, you're, you're a married woman. Aside being a married woman, you are my wife's I'm your wife's best friend. Yes, I am. I am. Uh, listen, your wife cares more or less about you. She doesn't care. No, no, ask me a question. What kind of a woman will have a man like you, so handsome and caring, and then she doesn't give you respect? She turned you to a slave, practically. Who does that? I respect the fact that you love and respect her. It's time. I do. You see, the things I hear about you makes me yearn for you. I need you. You see, I, I, I need just, just this one. So make me feel the wrong to feel. Make me just... Trisha. 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 Oh. Just... Get hold of yourself for now. See, I... I understand your situation. And I still want you to understand me as well. Let's assume that I am your husband and your best friend wants to cheat on you with me. How do you feel? I believe you won't like it. Fine, if the only reason you want to assist me is because you want a sexual satisfaction from me, I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm good. You see what I mean? You're about to work out on me. How many men can do that? Work out on me, resist me. You're exceptional. Uh, fine. It's fine. Okay, please. I'm uh, sorry. See, um, why I called you here is because I told you I was going to help you, and I mean it. I am going to help you. And of course, I'm on it already. I want you to meet my cousin. He's based in Germany, but he's around Nigeria now because he wants to have an outlet in Nigeria, Lagos precisely. I'd like you to meet him. I'd like you to meet him, please. Sit down, please. I, I, I don't even know why he's not here yet. Oh. Isha. 
Um, Bet, better welcome. Um, Obed, that's my cousin Bethel. My best friend's husband. Obed, my cousin Bethel. Good morning, Obed. Morning, Mr. Bethel. Yeah, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. I'm fine. Um, my cousin spoke well about you and... Uh, because of that, I decided not to bother myself with a boring interview of people. Yeah. Yes, of course. Um, I will just go get you guys some steak. I'll be here in the chiffy. Okay, excuse me. So, that's it. So, how's life? How's it doing? Very well. Very well. Um, Obed. Yeah. Apart from what my cousin told me, he used to be in business. Yes, I, I used to be in business, but I lost all my money in the business transaction that I did. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm, with such an experience, it means you won't lose money again. Listen, Obed, you've been in charge of our sales in Nigeria. Apart from the 150,000 naira salary, we will be assess your performance after a month. And if it's Promising. We'll give you the full package. But I don't need to tell you more about that for now. <sighs> okay, Ben. When am I starting work? Immediately. Immediately? Yes. Count yourself lucky. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I. I promise to, to do my best. Sure, sure, thank you. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. You're welcome aboard. <laughs> thank you once again. Yeah, yeah, lucky man. Can't just have a look. She will blow trumpets or go and put this on the TV station that she's coming. Um, Mama, how are people at home? They are fine. Thank God. Jenna, why is it that your stomach is still flat? Like lizard. Eh? Flat like lizard. When do you want to give me grandchildren? What I get? Huh? When do you want to give me grandchildren? Ah, uh, Mama. It is God that keeps children, okay. not me. Mm. And my mm. husband and I are doing all we can as humans. Adema, you know what? I thought that when people have problems like this, they run to doctors like you for solution. But in this case that you are the doctor in question, I'm confused. Eh, <laughs> Mama? It is wickedness just to tarnish and stop our lineage. And that will not happen. Never. Not while I am still alive. You just got here, so why don't you... Take this bag inside. Take it inside. Very flat bread. like bread. bread. Sliced bread. Lizard. Toast, no, toast bread. Mama, eh? yes, so. welcome to your son's house. Yes, so. Let me show you to your room. In yes. fact, our room. Our room? room. <laughs> God, this idiot. <laughs> God, this idiot. She wants to show you my son's house. Mama! Nonsense. Mama! Eh? Oh, no, no, no. I want to guys to do this. We have come. Yeah. Uh, we have come.
You are still here. Are you mad? Don't you have a home? Don't you have a family that needs you? Go. Stay here. Don't go home to your husband and your Shut up! Look if for someone's married, you will ruin me. Look at your Sonia. Are you going out? Oh, yes, Mama. I am on night duty today. So I'm going to work. I was just about to call you to let you know that your dinner is served. Your night duty? Yes, Mama. You are going to work? Yes, Mama. To come back tomorrow morning? Yes, Mama. Chai. Omaka. Omabu. I'll be on my way. I'm going late already. Ah, honey. Welcome. Hey, hi. I'm going to work. Mama? Bye, I'll okay. see you later. Zeus out. Mama? Ha! <laughs> What's going on here? How are you? I'm oh, fine. Uh -uh. Look at you. Where's everyone at, uh, in the village? They are fine. They are doing well. They are doing well. No, uh, sit down. Sit down. Nico, Nico, Nico. Nobody told me you are coming. Even... My dear. Sister didn't even tell me you are coming. But it's I know you are away. It was Vivian that came to pick me for the party. Mm. I didn't know your wife didn't tell you that I'm, I'm coming. Hey, Mama. Anyway. Hey, Mama, even yourself, you didn't even call me to tell me you are coming. Johnson, do I need to uh, go and collect visa for me to come to my son's house? <laughs> are you not the only son I have? Mama, and why I you say it like this? I am. And I try and understand. Eh? <sighs> there is something they call right of information. You, want that? Mm -hmm. you are coming to my house now. Okay, what if you came and I'm not around? My wife is not around. Hmm. You will now go and stay outside. Hey, chelo, chelo. Eh? I just observed something. You are coming in. Your wife is going out to come back in the morning. Is that how you give the grandchildren? Man. Eh? It's not good now. I know. I know, I know you are the one behind this. I know you are the one instigating all this, all, 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 all this, a drop on my mouth. A drop on my sister. Any time, Mama, any time I discuss this issue of your childlessness, you always insult me. You have forgotten that I'm your elder sister. Oh. I made you the man that you are today. I set you up. Now you want to talk to me, you want to rant on me. Is that how you do? Is this, is this how you do? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. See, all I want you to do, in fact, all we want you to do is call your wife, talk to her, tell her to stop working. Stop what? working. No, 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 I'm not done talking. So that both of you will have time for each other to copulate, conceive, and give me grandchildren. That is what I want. Stop working. That is what you are talking here. Go and get back to your wife. She can I hope that is understood. Mama, let's eat. Let me go and bring the extra spoon. Alright, my dear. That's this. That's this. What is even wrong with this? This son of mine, what is wrong with him? Huh? I decided to be awake. To know where you always go every minute. I. You know, as you get to know, I will tell you I am looking for a job. <laughs> you are looking for a job? Oh, yeah. Oh, bed. Since when did this job seeking? Starts. Eh? Come, Jukene, let me ask you. Who will be doing the chores in the house? The cooking? The sweeping? The washing of my undies? Who will be doing them? Hello. Hi. Who's supposed to be the one doing that in the first place? You, of course. 
Uh, listen, uh, listen real good. I need to set the record straight here and now. Uh. I understand your inadequacy when I got married to you. I know you don't know how to cook. I know you're naturally lazy. But I decided to be doing those things for you because I, I, I want you to be happy. But fortunately for you, I lost my job. And it automatically becomes my duty. But I want to tell you something. As soon as I get the job, the status quo will reverse. You have to face the house shows. Do you understand? Kunaka, nice one. But no, it's okay. Hence that you are looking for a job. It's all right. I hope you know that you'll be, you'll be the one paying for my daughter's school fees. You'll be paying for the house rent. I'm not even talking about taking care of me as a woman. Am I understood? Don't worry, you're perfectly understood and I'll do those things. And uh, if this job doesn't work out, <laughs> what I would do to you, eh? you will see 30, you will suffer. Let me tell you something, this rent will be due in two weeks time. If you do not pay for it, I will get a place, take my child, and I'll live your life. No sense. No sense. Rubbish. No Women. With their mouth, they will fall mountain. And if you lose it as a man, you will kill them. To work today. I hope all is well. Jay. <coughs> Babe, are you back? How was work? Are you okay? Baby, I'm fine. Um, I'm just having a fleeting thought about this child issue. Honey, it is not a fleeting thought. Your mother and sister put you up to it, am I right? Look, we have been through this so many times and I assured you that we are doing something about it. Just relax and be a little patient. Bear whatever pressure they put you up to, knowing that something good is coming. Okay? Why do we have you had anything for breakfast? I'm very famished. Let's go eat, please. don't know what is going on. My husband has changed. You need to see the way he talks to me. Babes, my husband talks to me anyhow. Vivian, I don't like it when you are disagitated. 
What is it? Can you calm down and let me know what the problem is? What is it? When I was growing up, I saw my father maltreat my mother. It was so bad. My mother didn't have a say in the marriage. She was just dumb. She does anything my father asked her to do. And I... I vowed. I vowed to myself that I will never let any man treat me that way. You see, that was the reason. That was the exact reason that made me. I hustled. I worked hard to train myself in school. Now I have a job. I am an independent woman. I will not let anyone, any man look down on me. Hey, darling. Vivian, take a good look at yourself. This is not you. See, you need to get this fear out of you. This is your mindset. Get it away from you because it's not helping you. If you continue like this, <laughs> my sweetheart, you will lose your marriage and the people around you, like me. Yes. No, I will not. No. Why did you say that? Why did I? Why did I say that? What is your problem? God gave you a handsome, wonderful person as a husband. A man that would have been the best of the bestest to you. What did you do? You threw that away. You turned him into a slave. You made him lose confidence in himself. Now why are you angry? Oh, because his mom came and said, no, my son, you are still a man. Take up the mantle and still be the man that you are. Why are you angry? Okay, oh, he doesn't ask you for money anymore. He now talks back at you as a man should. What exactly is the color of your problem? What? If he must be a man, then he should act like one. Then give him time. Time they say he is or will give him time. What is your problem? Listen. You, you, you were in your house, you set it on fire. You went to your brother's house, made it hell. Because you're angry because your husband had a very good wife that understood herself. And now you're angry about it. Why not let peace be? Let them have peace. Give yourself peace. My love. <laughs> be careful of what you do. You go to your house and set it on fire. You went to your brother's house, set them on fire. Because of what? You are angry that he has a good wife that is a woman to the core. It pains you, right? What do you want her to do? What do you want your husband to do? What do you want exactly? I want you to understand. Say it to me. You know what? Talking about Sonia. Sonia insulted me. Sonia that I picked up cleaned her up and took her to my brother, my younger brother, for him to get married to her. Now, Sonia wants to raise shoulders with me. She wants to raise shoulders with me. But guess what? I will make sure she's being kicked out of the house. She must leave my brother's house for peace to reign. And what would you gain? What would you gain? You will make sure she's being kicked out of the house. What would you gain? Your home now, you are angry that your husband is changing. But you want to take out somebody's wife from him. What would you give me? Vivian, take it with you. Allow peace to reign. Peace is the best. For you, for your soul to heal. What will I offer you? Food or drink? <laughs> you want to beat me now? You want to... You deserve some beating. Hello, sir. Hello? Sir? No, sir. No, 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 sir. I, 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 I'm, I'm always at the office, sir. O okay, sir. I'm coming, sir. Jesus Christ. Oh. Nah. Uh, 
thank God you are back. What's the problem? Uh, uh, please uh, 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 attend to your wife. She has been here crying since afternoon she came back from work. <laughs> I've tried asking her what the problem is, but she refused to tell me. Please uh, ask her to know whether she can talk to you. Because. Honey, what's the problem? I went to work today and my manager called me and gave me a sack letter. Sack letter? What did you do? What's your offense? He said, I'm not always on seat at work. <laughs> Was it not last week we talked about this? But ever since your mother came to your brother's place, you spent virtually all your time there. You spent mm -hmm. your office work trying to fight Sonia. <laughs> Have you seen the result of vengeance? Have you? You do not have a job. I have lost my job. How do we feed? How do we take care of me? How do we pay for our school fees? How do we pay the rent? What do we do? Don't worry, God will see us through. It's not about God. It is not God. It is your mother. Your mother. My mother. What has my mother got to do with this? Ever since she stepped foot into this house, everything changed. We used to be one good family, one peaceful family. And now she came and everything changed. You go out in the morning, you come back late at night. I don't even know who you go to see. I do not know. Now, please, wherever she's coming from, you tell her to go back to wherever she's coming from. She should go back to the village so that everything can come back to normal. Vivian, listen and listen to you. I thought you have something reasonable to talk about your sack from work. Leave my mother out of your problem. My mother is not leaving this house. My mother has come to stay. My mother will stay and she will not go back to the village until I say so. She's going nowhere. Go and find the cause of your problem. <laughs> Sonia, we called this family meeting to discuss something very important with you. My mother and I spoke to Johnson. I don't know if he related the, the message to you. Did you? Well, I didn't huh? because it wasn't necessary. Oh. Mama, let me explain. My wife and I had already addressed this issue. Huh. And like I said earlier, we are working towards it. You are walking towards it. <laughs> Meaning, it cannot walk or walk. <laughs> oh, the man. Um, ne. Looking at the issue of childlessness at heart, mm -hmm. we decided that your husband should talk to you to stop work. Bam. Mm -hmm. Stop work so that both of you will have time to complete, conceive, and give me grandchildren. Exactly. That is all I am asking. I'm not asking for too much. I pray for Ogadero. There is no time. Are you hearing me? The bone of contention here is stop working. Mama, it's okay. Calm down. Okay. I have heard all that you've said, Mama. Good. But I disagree. Hmm? 
Because stopping work and staying at home is not the solution to our problem. As many women that work have conceived without stopping work. So it's not the best solution. Honey, what do you have to say about this? You've said it all, honey. You know, when we got married, you stayed at home for almost a year before getting a job. So if staying at home will work, she would have gotten pregnant by then. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mama, it's okay. Since you have decided not to stop work mm. and you cannot get pregnant, mm -hmm. why don't you allow my brother here to look somewhere else to get a child? Either to get married to someone else or get a concubine. Okay, yeah? Yes. You had her. You are not deaf. Loud and clear. You are lucky. She gave you options. So from the options, you choose one that is convenient for you. All we are asking you to do is you go and decide on the one you want and get back to us. Chikena. Chikena. Oh, go ahead, wrong. Cha, 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 cha. The way you are looking at me, do you have any other thing to say? Yes. There will be more. Mm. Eh. Let's hear it. I have always respected and treated you like my mother. But what you are doing right now is really shocking to me. I'm surprised that a mother like you would suggest this. Look at your daughter. She has only one child. At least I have a child, brother. I have a child! Do you know what it took me to push? Have you ever pushed in your life? <laughs> have you ever, ever, ever had a miscarriage? Mbani! Conceive, no, it's still miscarriage. You want to conceive? Oh, conceive, Just conceive. Let it be that you conceive first, and the name was Yamo. At least prove yourself a woman. Prove to us that you are a woman. Never now, but you see on it. Da, da, go and sit down. When women are talking, you'll be talking. You're not supposed to be talking. Please. What if her in laws should suggest this? What would you do? Anyway, I have nothing to say to you. This matter is between you and my husband, and he is the only one I would respond to. Excuse me. Where is she going? You see what I am saying? This girl does not have respect. See the way she just walked out on us. What? It's okay, Mama. Walked out on her. Mother-in-law! Mama, calm down. Mama, calm down. Calm down. Let her go. But what must be done must, must be, be done. done. Signed and sealed. <laughs> she cannot. It is signed and sealed. sealed. She will not close our lineage. It's Bam! Because... God forbid. Bam! God forbid. Bam! Nonsense! I don't want your family and her family. Where is he going? Lekwa, lekwa. Woman rapper. Woo, 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 woo! Follow! 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 Follow!
I didn't even know you could have stayed around. I would have called you to come and do it. What is all this? It's okay, Mama. Um, hey. You can go to your room. I'll go water and I'll call you to take it, okay? Hmm. It's okay. It's okay. You come to the What to burn this house? Did you, can you buy it? Can you build it? Vivian. My mother said she begged you to help her boil water and you refused. Hmm. I remember vividly when your mother visited us. I did everything for her. Everything. The only thing I didn't do for her was to beat her. And so tell me, why won't you do the same for my own mother? Am I her maid? Huh? Did she pay me to do things for her? And since your mother came to this house, she has been bringing problems, one problem to the other. Is it that your mother? Is it that your mother? She's a witch. She deserves to die. How dare you! How dare you talk about my mother before me in that manner? Obed! You have the guts to talk about my mother before me in that way? Slap you again! Let me! Let me! Let me! Slap 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 me! What is it? Slap me! 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 Slap are you a fool? You are a fool! You are a fool! I am a fool! You are a fool! You are a fool! Please, I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry 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 i am you are mad. Ine, please, it's okay. Because you're going to know. There's no issue between husband and wife that cannot be said. Mother, you are, you are the cause of this. You old witch. You are the cause of this. Hey. Since you came into this house, you have been the problem in this house. Stop! Stop! Don't you dare insult my mother again. Don't try it. I am done. I am leaving your house. For good. No sense. Fool. Excuse me. No sense. I will leave your house. I will leave your house. I will leave your house. No sense. Rubbish. Hey, and while you are leaving, take a physical look at this house because I will make sure you won't come back to this house again. Hey, no, please. Uh, please, no, I don't... Uh, uh, Mama. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're not bigger. I do not want to hear bigger. Biko. Please, I don't want you to look as if I am the one causing the trouble before, between both of you. No, ma Mama, but... no, Mama, Biko, Biko. I don't want that lamentation. One more lamentation from you, I'll work out on you. Be cool. Vivian. Vivian. It's okay. Just stop crying. Please, just stop. Just stop. Please. See, I know that what he did is wrong. But you can't continue like this. You can't continue like this. Just stop, please. Please, just stop. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. But, brother, Obed is not known to be the violent type. There must be a reason for his action. Exactly my thoughts, too. You know, Obed that I know can never raise his hands on you. There must be a tangible reason. No matter what. No matter what. Is it right for a man to lay his hands on a woman? No! Any man that does that is a weakling and a fool. What is it? How dare he raise his filthy hands on my daughter? Eh? And you're here supporting him. No, 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 no. He, sh he should have cut off her neck before you know that what he did is wrong. Is he not? Look at you! What is your problem? A man did something wrong that you should... You, both of you should kick against it and you are here supporting him! I'm sorry, I have to go inside. I was busy. Let her be! What is she trying to insinuate? <laughs> what is she trying to insinuate? Is it because... She, I allow her to see me cry. 
It's okay. No, is it because I allow her? I allowed her to see me cry. It's okay. It's okay. Just, just let her go. I was trying to explain to Johnson the implication of his wife refusal to stop work. Well, we have no other option than to get get him a wife Good. or a concubine. Good, yes. Exactly. Mother, I I need to go somewhere. Somewhere? Are you sure you're good? I'll be right back. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, fine. It's okay. Do take care of yourself, oh. Please stop crying, it's okay. Mama, I'm pleading with you and Vivian, whatever plans you have against my wife, just stop it. Just end it now, Biko. Allow us to live in peace like husband and wife. Please, I beg you in the name of anything you serve. Please. An elder, an elder cannot sit by and watch the mother goat give birth in cities. Johnson, I know quite well that your father will be kicking in his grave right now. Yes, your father will be kicking in his grave. Mom, I, I, I just wish you, you understand the, the, the extent of, of problem you are trying to bring in this house. I just wish you understand it. See, it is getting out of hand, so I can never joke with my wife. I don't joke with my wife. I'm, I'm now telling you and... Vivian, stop. Biko can now. You're an Oh, please keep quiet. Just, just, just shut, 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 shut up. Shut up, Johnson. If you don't have anything reasonable to say, keep quiet. And allow those that have something to say, better thing to say, to speak. What is your problem? What is it? We are trying to help you here. To think of it. Who did you take after? Who? Who did you take after? I know definitely it's not your father. If it's not my father, then it's you. God forbid. Okay. God forbid. I won't, I, I won't this is you not again. me in you. This is not me. It's God not forbid. Right. What is your problem? Yeah. We are trying to help you here and you're talking nonsense. What is your problem? Just saying. I think the best thing to do is for me to go back to the village. So I don't be a burden to you. Uh, now it's time for you and your wife. Now she has left. I have to go back. Mama, you are not going anywhere. Mama, you did not cost anything. Therefore, you are not going anywhere. This house belongs to me. I paid for this house. For the fact that I crashed financial does not warrant her to insult me in my own house. Mama, you are not going anywhere. You will stay with me because this house belongs to me. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Ha, ha, ha. Mr. Beto! Ah! Oh, you didn't tell you were coming. Well, so I had to jump in on you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, uh, my mom, uh, Mama, he's um, my benefactor. He's telling me Mr. Beto. Oh, oh. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Uh. You are welcome, sir. Oh, yeah, thank you, man. Hello, oh. Yeah, thank you. Hey, now nah, God bless you, oh. Yeah. My son, I've, I've told me everything you have been doing for him. God will bless you. Uh, don't mention, ma. And, uh, mama, <laughs> you need to have this. You know, your son never told me that you are here. Ah, ah! Who go? Don't worry. All this for me? <laughs> don't worry, just have it. <laughs> now, did you see that? Ah, I know came and he never me for so. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. I appreciate it. Oh, God bless you. Oh. Yeah, God. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Uh, uh, please, uh -huh. let me leave two of you to you. Please. It's okay, ma. It's okay, ma. Oh. You're welcome once again, Mr. Um, 
What else have you? I have spirit, I have wine, I'll get you here for coffee. Nah, I'm okay. I'm a bit in a hurry. I have to go back to Germany this evening. Wow. So soon? Yeah, the head office has uh, recalled me. Okay. That was why I was trying to reach you. I've been trying your line. What happened? I've tried without success. Oh, my brother, um, my daughter was playing with my phone and mistakenly my phone slipped off from her hand. And um, the screen of my phone got broken. I was hoping to get my first salary so I can fix the phone. Okay, I understand, I understand. Yeah. Um, the company has assessed your performance over the month. They are satisfied. How? Oh, thank God. Ah. Oh. Um, that said, yeah. Now, now that aside, uh, I think my job is is done here. I have your letter of appointment. Okay. I also have a document stating your obligations to the company. Okay. Okay. The company in turn assigned your salary. Okay, okay. I decided to pay you 2% for every sales you make. Good news. Ah, I know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the company is giving you a four room duplex. What? This is mad! <laughs> you have a chauffeur, a security man. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. All for me? All for you. I'm not done yet. <laughs> and I think your first salary must have heated your account by now. God, my God, my God, my God, you are so good. You are so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'm overwhelmed. I, I, I don't even know. I, I am so rant. I'm overwhelmed. I Thank know you. you will see that. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just come down. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm calm. I, 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 do you want to jump in? I mean, no, something to, I told to celebrate you. this. I told you earlier. Okay. Fine. Let me escort you, okay? <laughs> Let me escort you. Congrats once again. <laughs> You're a lucky man. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Johnson and uh, his uh, wife right beside you. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, my daughter, you are good welcome. Good afternoon, Johnson. How are you? I'm fine. I'm yeah, good. I can see you are very fine. Okay, mother, <laughs> brother. This is my friend Debbie, and she'll be staying with you guys for a while. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, now that that is said. Um, so, Debbie, let me take you inside and, you know, I'll show you where you can keep of your course. things. Get your things. All right. Grab your things, okay? <laughs> Grab it! <laughs> mother! Mother! I'll be right back. All right, baby. <laughs> come, 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 come. Um, uh, no. uh, I asked you to sit down because I have a very important thing to discuss with you. Uh, you see, in order for our plan, for Johnson to have children, to work out, Vivian brought Debbie. Yes, for Johnson to impregnate her. Uh, oh, come 
Hey, after which she will leave you. She will leave the house for you. Hey, that is an alternative now. We don't have any other choice. I want to have grandchildren since you cannot give me. Let her come and give me children. Hey, hey child. Then she will leave when she gets pregnant. Leave the house for you. You see, my daughter, I just want you to support us in this plan. Yes. And see, you never can tell her. If she becomes pregnant now, it might even open this your closed womb. Hey, this is your womb that has been closed for years. Hey, it will have to open it. Hey, womb open no. Womb open no. Womb attaches here. Carry baby mba. Carry baby mba. Hey, somebody has come to give me grandchildren. Now you are going to see my Why are you crying? You should be happy and rejoicing. That's thing you are not able to do. Or that woman is coming to do it for you. Support her. Be a supporting woman. Woman empowerment. Support. Oh, support. Nonsense. Look at this girl. Johnson, are you part of this plan to bring in a woman for you to impregnate or marry? Uh, uh, baby, how can you say such a thing? It's not possible now. If you're talking about that lady out there, you, you were there when my sister said she, she's her friend. That is not true. Your mother just told me now that she is here for you to get her pregnant. And you believed her? Baby, come on. You should know. If that is their plan, it's already failed. It can never work. Listen, Johnson, listen. You remember what I told you the other day, right? I told you that a day would come where you would have to choose between me, your wife, and your sister. Well, today is that day. You will go out there right now and ask your sister and that useless girl she brought into this house to leave this minute. Baby, no. Stop this. Stop this. En en enough of this madness, please. How do you expect me to tell my only sister to leave this house? Baby, you already know she's, she, she left her house. She has nowhere to go. And who said she has no home to go to? Her husband's home is her home. She was rude to her mother-in-law. That is why she was beaten and asked to leave. She should go back home and apologize to her mother-in-law and her husband. Let her leave us in peace in this house. Yes. Listen, 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 Johnson, listen. I will not stress over this issue so much. I won't. Go out there and ask her to leave. And I tell you, it is not possible. Just... And who is that? It is not possible. Excuse me. You are quite excused. Where is he? He is coming. He's coming? Yes. Okay. Mm. I am waiting. Ma, you sent for me? Yes, I did. Sit. Say what you want to say. I'm, I'm in business. I'm busy. Okay, sit down! I said say what you want to say. I'm busy inside. Mama, I said sit down. Mama, please, if you have anything to tell me, just say it now. Let me go inside and finish. I am not going to say anything. Sit down. Sit down! His green wings. And I'll cut it to pieces. Good. Um, Johnson, I will go straight to the point. There is no need beating about the bush. Vivian has brought you a woman to marry. And, and, and what, what's that supposed to mean? Eh? What's the meaning of that? Did I ask Vivian to get, get me a wife? Eh? I want to need a wife. See, Mama. Enough of this madness. Please, I beg two of you in the name of God, leave my wife and I alone in this house. Oh, you shut up your mouth! Shut up! I'm going to get in the way in Konyala. I say, shut, shut up that in the call mouth before I shut it up for you. Anna, you listen. Do not allow me to curse you, Johnson. Because if I do, it will follow you. Unless I did not carry you for nine months in this my womb and gave you this breath of mine to suck. What is your problem? Your father will be kicking in his grave for you wanting to terminate his lineage. Look at you. We are trying to help you here. Are you vomiting rubbish? Are you okay? No, it's okay. That business that is making you fly, you won't put your effort. Don't forget that I am part owners of that business. Okay? 
so I can cut it off at any minute. Hi, now you listen to me. We are trying to help you so that you can help this family. What is wrong with you? You know, I'm not it. Now you have. I knew it. I knew it, master planner. I knew you were the one behind all this rubbish. You have succeeded in ruining your marriage. That is why you are here to ruin mine. But Vivian, I will tell you this thing. That evil plan of yours will never work. You see this marriage? You see this house? I will not leave this house. And neither will your brother marry that thing that you've brought here. As for you, Mama, you have failed as a mother. Huh? You have failed! No, 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 no! What? You can insult me! I am not crazy! 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 So happy for you. This is something. Of course, it smells money, money, like everywhere. On point. You, 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 you got good taste. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you for everything you've done for me. As a matter of fact, everything that I've achieved, I owe it up to you. God bless you. You see, I. No. If. Not with you, I won't have been here and everything I have achieved, I owe it all to you. Can you stop? You're embarrassing me. Stop. Get up. I'm not God. You need to God alone. I'm not God. See, my, my cousin said a whole lot about you, that you impressed them and they were happy to give you all this, to make you comfortable. And again, you are a very nice man. You are hardworking. You are decent. You are smart, intelligent. But you can't say that again. What were you expecting? This is just the tip of an iceberg. Watch it and see how blessed you will be. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I almost allowed my emotion to take over me. I'm sorry. I understand. Uh, let's toast. Of course. Yeah. One nice. Uh huh. Good things to come. Yeah. Prosperity. Of course. Open door. Yeah. Forever. And success. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Johnson! Johnson! What? So, so this is what this is what you do. This is what you do. Okay, you're sick of this girl. This is this is what you do. You, you do it.
told you to calm down. Nothing they happen. Eh? You have nothing to worry about. Calm down? <laughs> How do you expect me to calm down? Do you know what that woman did to me upstairs? Calm down. Debbie, you... Oh, you are still here. So you are still here. You are still here. Why would she be here? Eh? She will be here to give my brother children. Children that you can never give my brother. Where will you be? Why would you be a shameless woman? I promise you one thing. Just one thing. That one day you will go on your knees and beg me. God forbid. God will not let it happen. It will never happen. Nonsense. You cannot give my brother. Come back. Even if it's one child. Even if it's one miscarriage. I'm leaving this house for you. Hey, get out. Get I'm out of this place. It's your useless woman. Shouting inside. I heard my wife saying somebody was in my room. Somebody in his bed. Please, please, please. Don't, don't worry. You are stressing yourself too much. Go upstairs. When you are fully awake, we will discuss. Okay? Don't go and lie down. Go and lie down. Go and lie down. But where, where is my wife? She went to work. Go and lie down. Eh? Up, 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 up. Go and lie down. Go and lie down. Stand up. Mm. Mm. No, go and lie down. When you wake up, we talk. You are not awake. When you wake up, we talk. Fine. Oh. She works as a civil servant in the local government. Wow. That's beautiful. Good to know. Eh. So, why is it that people don't visit village? Eh? Look at you now. A beautiful big girl. You can't even speak your language. The Igbo language, you can't even speak it. Eh? Eh? It's not good though. It's no good. It's good for you to be visiting the village once in a while so that they will not uh, deceive you. Mm. I'm our bugu. Okay, no, you don't. Mother, what is it? Can you imagine? I went to Mimi's school and I was told they had not seen her since the close of school. We have searched virtually everywhere for her, but we couldn't find her. What's the meaning of that? Hi. Did you report to the police? I went with the owner of the school to the police station and they said they would swing into action after 24 hours. I don't even know what to do. I, I don't even know how to discuss this with the father. Wait a minute. I thought they have security in that school. So how come she was being taken away without the knowledge of the gates man? How come? Obed is calling me. Okay. Hello, Obed. I know by now you will be filled with worries over me and me. Put your mind at rest. Mimi is with me, where she is supposed to be. Hello? Hello? What did he say? Open! What, 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 what did Open he say? Open took my daughter without my notice. Oh, thank God. At least now we know that she's in good hands. So calm down. In good hands, mother? With that pop and the, and, and the witch mother? No, I will not let this lie. I will not let them have my child. I'm going back right there. Give them, give them, give them. Give them. Hey, what are you with this? Go out my house. Don't have my house to fight. Okay. Please. What? Did you say he can pick her up? Hold her baby, make sure she goes to fight. Hey, I know, I don't, I know what she's capable of doing. Hey, what kind of thing is this? Hey.
I don't understand what's going on. My my room seems empty. Like where's my wife? No, nothing is there. I think I don't look at the room. Johnson. Remember we had an agreement that Debbie will be pregnant for you. Uh, Vivian knew that you would not agree to it. So she drugged your tea and you slept off. Then Debbie joined you in bed. And my wife saw that. Yes. God. God, 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 God. Wonder. Wonder, wonder, wonder. I was hearing voices. See, Mama, I'm going right back into that room to wear something, to step out and clear my head. By the time I come back here and my wife is not in this house, and I see your daughter, I see your daughter here. One of us will join our family. Nobody's joining anybody. Nobody is joining anybody, oh, yes. I won't repeat, I won't repeat myself. Nobody is joining anybody. Do the right thing. That is what we are asking of you. Are we asking too much? What is it? Wake up! Wake up! You are sleeping! Go sit down! Nobody is going anywhere! Nobody is joining anybody! Nobody is joining anybody! Huh? Go What you see? What you see? Who is that? Who is that? Why is it? Why are you looking? Wait now, what are you looking for now? So you just buy it. Where is Obed? Obed, you don't, you don't, you're no longer living in this compound. Did you pack out scenes. Did you hear what he said? Obed is no longer living here. I am very sure he has taken his wretched self to the village with my child. Huh? Where is my child? Um, sis, sis, calm down. Hmm? You're getting yourself worked up. Do you know what? Let's go back home and plan something, please. So Obed can take my child without telling madam, me. Madam, madam. I beg, I'm not going to go from Ogawa, come and call the shout to me. I don't want to be sacked, please. Look, I'm not going to speak correct English. Do I come and go? Please, let's leave this idiot. Do I come and go? Do I come and go? Yes, Oni, 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 where are you? I've, I've been looking everywhere for you. Where are you? Why are you asking as if where I am is the issue? Johnson, this marriage is over between us, at least until you are man enough to take charge of your life without your sister and mother controlling you. Oni, please, can you, can you, can you just uh, allow me to explain? What are you explaining? That I didn't tell you to choose either me or your sister whom to live with. You didn't have the liver of a man to do it. You watched them laugh and humiliate me. To make matters worse, they brought a girl for you to marry. I asked you to send them away, but you refused. Instead, you slept with her on our matrimonial bed. I hope she gives you the child you and your family are looking for. Oh, honey, please, it's, 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 it's not what you think. L let me just explain to you, please. No, 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 no. Explain to your people. I am gone for good. You won't see me again. I am no longer working in the hospital. So do not bother looking for me. I will change my phone number and stay out of your reach. Hey, hello, baby, hello, 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 baby, hello, hello. What up? I 
Let him be your matter guy. And I just want to with us more. As in, I don't understand one how you deal with us as, as in. You can try it. Hmm? You can try it. No, you that smoke, oh. And then we date together. Uh, we date together, baby. What do you want to make you the front face like this? Huh? What do you want to do? I ask you, what do you want to do? make you come all that smoke? Where are you going? What do you want to do? Make you kiss small. Make you kiss small. I'll go to buy another one. Ha! You go still buy another one. Ah, my mom. You can make the same dress. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Me too. You know, like, like this. You mean I'm. Looking at me chase another woman out of her house because of a child. Someone would ask me. Where is my own child? It's okay. Obed, it will never be well with you. Okay. It will never be well with you, Obed. Vivian. Vivian. Stop it. Stop. Stop cursing. It hasn't got into that. Madam, where down. is my child? Where is my child? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop it. Joseph, what is it? Why did you why did you budge into the house like that? No, just, just take a look and wait. He starts told me. Only the guilty are afraid. Clear conscience. He fears no accusation. Where is my wife? Since I'm asking you, where is my wife? I am thinking of important issues. Don't disturb me. Don't you just try to stop me? Can you stupid? <coughs> I'm not doing it! 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 i am not Pack your things and get out of my head. She's not going anywhere! She's not going anywhere! I have tolerated you long enough. Never again. You are leaving this house today. Now get inside, pack your things, and get out of my house before I kill you! She's not going anywhere! That's what I said! Try me! What has come over you? What has come over this boy? What is wrong? said I understand but the part of you wanting to stay here that part I am not very sure it is possible because my husband will be back very soon and I'm traveling to the States for my son's graduation I'm, I'm, I'm leaving next tomorrow so it's not possible my love 
I'm ne sorry. Next tomorrow. Yes. So me and I can't stay here. I'm sorry you can't. <sighs> About your husband, Obed. I know where he stays. Don't give me that look. Don't, because I warned you. Your husband, Obed, is doing practically well, at least. More than when he was with you. Obed. I'm not saying you're bad luck, but it seems so. I'm sorry. Fine, he's still, he got a job with this damning based personnel. He's got a house, he got a car. And your child is with him. But I'm sorry. The issue now is there is a woman in the house that he wants to marry. A woman in his house. I just. Um... <sighs> just want to see him and I just want to see him and apologize. I know that I've really wronged him. I messed up. I just want him to forgive me. That's all. So I'm so happy you are back to your senses. Of course, you messed up big time. And I warned you. <laughs> right, it's this fine. I'll take you to him. No time is late for amendments. I'm happy you are sober now. At least you understand that you messed up and you're ready to say sorry. That is it. Okay? You'll be fine. Let me get some stick while I just... No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Papa, please. I know that I have wronged you. Please forgive me, I beg you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry about the way I treated you. Things I said. <laughs> Vivian. Mom, I don't have anything against you. Huh? Not anything at all. I knew you were acting out of ignorance. Out of childishness and foolishness. <sighs> it takes only a foolish woman to write off her husband. Even when she knew that the man is still a young man, a vibrant man, and hardworking and God-fearing man. So, I understand. And I don't have anything against you. It's just between you and your husband. Mama, thank you. So thank you so much, Ma. What is she doing here? I'm asking a question. What are you doing here? Are you here to chase me out of my fiance's house the same way you chased me out of my husband's house? Uh, Sonia, please just calm down. Okay? Calm down. Vivian, I told you that Obed has another woman. Um, this is a woman he wants to marry. Sonia. What have I done? What have I done? I know, please, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm not here to cause problems. I just... Vivian. When I was leaving my husband's house, I told you that one day he would ask me to forgive you. 
If not for Trisha here, I would not have allowed you to set your foot into my compound. I messed up. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not here for... I'm not here to ruin your relationship. I'm only here to ask for forgiveness. Please. I have learned my lesson. Whether you learnt or not, try that out when you get another husband. As for me, it is over between us. Hey. While you were busy journeying from my house to your brother's house, causing unhappiness, Sonia and I found happiness in each other's hands. And we decided to get married. Um, Obed. Yeah. Please. Remember, we had a discussion. Yeah, I'm coming to that. After Trisha begged and explained your deal to me, my wife to be and I discussed about that and agreed on something. Honey, tell her. Sure. Well. What my fiancé is trying to say is that because of Mimi, we have decided to pardon you, give you shelter, and also feed you. Oh, yeah. In other words, we will let you live here as Mimi's nanny and nothing more. We don't want Mimi to grow up and find out that her mother was thrown out of her house. So you are only allowed to live here. As mean Miss Nanny. Vivian. Yes, ma'am. Can you still mop it? Yes, I'm almost done. I just finished this part. Please hurry up and wash Mimi's clothes. Okay, I'll do that. Do that quickly. Sorry. Mimi's clothes? Yes. With your hands? Yes, Mama. No, no. Are you not using a washing machine? No, Mama. Oga and Madame said I shouldn't touch the washing machine, that I should use my hands. But it's okay. I'm, I'm enjoying the experience. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Mama, it, do you need any other thing? No, I just want us to sit and uh, you know, <laughs> chat. Don't worry. Now. I'll soon be done. When I, once I'm done, we'll talk, okay? It's okay. All right.
Mama. Is this you? Of course it's me. Hey. Or did you think I would be dead by now? No, not at all. That's not what I mean. Um, I was trying to say that you look good. That, that I'm happy to see you. Sonia. Please. I want you to put everything that happened behind you. It was Vivian's idea. She virtually made the decisions in the family. I, I'm not trying to exonerate myself. Oh. All I'm trying to say in essence is, please, forgive us. Please. It's okay, Mama. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. I have forgiven you a long time ago. Hey. If I bear you grudges, I wouldn't be where I am today. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's okay. Um, what about Johnson? Johnson? Johnson is no longer himself. He's now a shadow of himself. What happens to him? Ever since you left him, he's been devastated. Sonia, Johnson did not do it. Vivian drugged Johnson. I go to Biafalo every day to bring back my son passed out. Sonia, Johnson did not sleep with that girl. Vivian drugged Johnson and place the girl beside him so that you can see both of them and leave. That is the truth. I know all these things, Mama. You do? Yes. But well, it's too late now. All the same, please tell Johnson I'll give him a call soon. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. That's, that's, that will help. That will help bring back my son. Johnson, for days now, Johnson has not eaten anything, even me. Because he doesn't bring money for food anymore. Just give me a minute, please. Okay, um, um pl please, just take this. Manage it, okay? Use it to take care of yourself. I should, I should take? Yes. Take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. May the good Lord bless you. Amen. I pay you back for this. Amen. The good Lord bless and replenish you. Amen. Wherever this came from, may God replace it. It shall be well with you, my daughter. Amen. God bless you. Bless you too. I, I have to be on my way now. That's fine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.
I went to buy bread. Okay, fine. I want to go and buy a bottle of beer. I'm coming. I... Johnson? Oh. I saw Sonia. You did? Yes. I asked her to forgive us. That it wasn't your fault but ours. Mama, did she ask of me? Do you think she hates me? I told her that you miss her. And as a result, has taken to drinking. Hey! Oh, no, no, now, but now. How can you? Sonia hates people that drink. I don't. She said she will call you. Are you, are, are, are you serious? Justin, I am very sure she will call you. Hey! Thank God. That call will be made on one condition. On my which condition now? Talk to me. Johnson, that you stop drinking. As soon as you stop drinking, I will call Sonia and Sonia will call you. Yes. Mama, wait. So if I stop drinking now, Sonia will call me? Yes. Mama, I promise you, I swear with anything. I will never taste alcohol in my life again. Mama, I surrender. I, just that, Sonia will call me. If I don't take alcohol, yes. <laughs> alcohol will punish you. Are you sure? <laughs> Mama, I'm not going out again. I will, I will go to my room and sleep. That would be nice. I will never taste alcohol again in my life. Are you sure? I'm telling you. Mama, hey. Hey, thank God. Let, let, should I drop the drive for you? Drop it. Let me go and sleep. I swear I will not take alcohol again. Yes. I will. <laughs> Sonia, yes. Mama, are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Mama, if you see me with alcohol, kill me. Mama? Oh Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Do you are bothered? Do you care to share? I saw Vivian's mother today. And she told me that since I left Johnson, he has turned to a drunk. So, what do you think? I mean, what do we do? I think it's time to call them and tell them formally. I think so too. Meanwhile, you need a good rest and a sound sleep. Let's go. <coughs> Vivian! Vivian! Sir? Oga? So you've uh, gone to bed before us? No, I did not. I was just waiting for you both to go to bed. What about Mimi? Um, by the way, do you know you're the reason Mimi is to bed wet? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. How many times have you woken Mimi up at night to pee? Mm. You see, you should know when she wants to pee at night. Then you wake her up at that particular time. Gradually, she, she learns to do it by herself. Thank you. Thank you for lecturing me. I'll, I'll, I'll take a note of that. Since you've learned that and many others, go and lock up. We're going to bed. Okay. Honey, okay. let's go. Let's go. Good night. Thank 
Mama Johnson, I know you both hate me with a passion, but I have made mistakes and I am paying for them. God is in control over everything. I don't have anything to tell you until this meeting is over. I understand. Um, Oga and Madam said I should offer you both anything you want. So you want food or drinks? I'm sorry. We don't want anything. Let's see them first. Um, I, I don't understand. What, what, what is all this Oga and Madam all about? And besides, why are you dressed like this in your husband's house? Who was said to be marrying my wife? Johnson, why all these questions? I thought I've explained everything to you. Mama, you've explained everything, but I want it to come from her mouth. I want to see how bitter it tastes coming from your mouth. Because it is as a result of her wickedness, stupidity, and pride. That is what reduced you from, from a wife to a nanny. I understand. Everything you've said about me, I deserve it. But I am here to atone for my sins. I am here to make up for my mistakes. I am here to be close to my daughter, most especially. Thank you. They will soon be with you. You have not started. Oga, okay. um, my mother and my brother, they are here. I have notified madam, so I just thought to let you know. It's okay, I will be with them shortly. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Help me with the buttons. Hmm? I said, help me with the buttons. Okay. Not so fast. Kiss me. Eh? I said, kiss me. Well, I cannot kiss you. Am I not mine? Johnson and his mother are here to see us. Okay, I'm aware of that, okay? Um, honey, I told Vivian to kiss me and she said it's not proper to kiss me. Kiss him? Huh? Don't, please. Please, I don't want problems. Please, if I leave here, I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't know. You two are trying to set me up. I don't want. I don't want to kiss him. I'm only here because of my daughter. Vivian. Okay. Am I not good enough to be kissed by you? I never said so. I never said so. Let's just go. Let's go. I'm trying to do. Honey, so it's true. Shouldn't it be true? Chancellor, <laughs> uh. did I not tell you to choose between your sister and I whom to live with? Did you? I hate it when a man is weak and can't take important decision. Have your seat. Vivian! Vivian! Olga!
Olga? You called me. Yes, I did. We all know what happened that led to a whole lot of things and brought us to where we are today. Vivian thought I am mount to nothing. And she left. But God is God. God has never changed. True. And God will not see me and change. And so God gave me a job. Not just a job. A very good job. And this home. We thank God. Yes. We thank God. When Sonia was skimmed out of Johnson's house, I took her in. Trisha begged me to take Vivian back. I agreed. But on one condition, that she has to be humble. Then, we devised means to get her humbled and we agreed that I will employ her as my nanny. And ever since she became my nanny, she became so humble. She learned how to cook, how to scrub the floor. She learned how to go to the market, how to do everything. She learned how to wash her car. She learned how to teach Mimi how to do her homework. Experience is the best teacher. Then, one day, Sonia ran into Mama. And Mama gave her update of what has been happening to Johnson and them. We decided to open up. Vivian has humbled herself. She has learned how to talk to people, how to respect people, and so. And I'm taking her back as my wife. Olga, please, if this is a joke, please stop it. What about Madame? Sonia is not my wife. Huh? Nor my fiancé. Sonia is Johnson's wife. And she's going back to Johnson. What's going on, honey? What's happening now? Is, is this a dream? What's going on? You heard what that. Well, let me explain everything to you. When I left your house, I didn't want to go to my parents' house because I knew that there was no way on this earth they would allow me to go back to you because of how you allowed your sister to control you. So, I called Obed and explained everything to him. He and his mother were nice enough to accept me in this house. When Trisha pleaded on behalf of Vivian, that was when we came up with this plan to act like we're engaged to be married just so that Vivian would be on board and you would act like a man. God. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's okay. Um, Vivian. No, 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 no,
One more thing. A good news. Hey, what could that be? Sonia has been pregnant. God! Pregnant for you, Johnson. She almost lost the baby because of the stress she passed through. But thank God. God. Oh my she never God. had a miscarriage. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can I have that kiss now? <laughs> <laughs> 